the most historical sporting event in the world has arrived and everyone is in high spirits, flags are out as Great Britain hope to capture the hearts of millions and that includes football as Team GB has arrived. We have the chance to win glory in enemy territory so get the kettle on, sit back and get ready to watch Great Britain getting more than just gold medals. Hello, hello everybody, how are we all doing? I'm doing absolutely smashing because the Olympics are finally here. British morale is through the roof. As Team Great Britain landed in France across the channel and hoping to conquer the French landscape once again. If you don't think this is more British than it already is, let's take a look at Team GB's football squad going into this journey. And our boys... It's the typical, it's the Brexit style 4-4-2. Yeah, I've got Neil Warnock as my assistant manager and I've got Vinnie Jones as my fitness coach ready to tear apart the opposition. Hey lads, that wanker's got a front football shirt on. Let's give this Nancy a fucking good kick in. Come on lads, it's going off. Yeah. Well, I have to get it out there. This isn't Team England. This is Team Great Britain. As there's one simple rule I've got to follow throughout all my journey with this team. In my starting lineup, I must have at least two players who are Welsh, Scottish, Northern Irish, and finally English. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, but you know what? We'll be able to conquer this. That's what makes us Great Britain after all. So I'm going to quickly run down the team for you. We've got each off. Northern Irish goalkeeper. Our full-backs are Welsh, Beck and Higgins. We've got two centre-backs, King, the Scottish centre-back, as well as that, Creswell. Our wingers over here, we've got Johnny Rowe, followed up by highly potential Ben as our Scottish winger. Two midfielders, we've got Northern Irish McCann and finally Bellingham. No, not Jude, it's George Bellingham. And who's going to be leading us up top? The striking pair of channel favourite Daniel Jebson and Liam Cullen, the Welsh striker. So, with our introduction with the squad out of the way, we start things off in League 2. Let's conquer League 2, just like Henry V did in 14-15. first game in League 2, it was only a maritime before Britannia was sailing past the Toulouse defence. And especially career mode favourite Daniel Jebson gets the opening goal. And look at those kids. The white, the red, the blue. It's absolutely perfect. Not as perfect as Ben's cross over here as it crossed to the well striker Liam. He touched, nutmeg the goalkeeper. Absolutely embarrassing. Just like dropping a pint of beer and everybody cheering. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our King Charles Stadium. Okay, I know it looks like more like a training camp than an actual stadium, but let's just say the French authorities weren't exactly keen on us building a stadium, and this is the best land they could provide us. But we made it absolutely count, as we were absolutely swinging in the first couple of minutes. Daniel Jebson, absolutely like a man possessed, literally like Tyson Fury, rising from the dead to give us the lead. An absolute fine pass, not like fine French wine, more like Scottish whiskey, as a cracking volley from Liam seals our second win of the highlights. And not even EA itself could contain the Union Jacks. As Daniel Jebson, yeah, he was easy enough to open things up for us. But Jode Bellingham wraps a great cross into Ben. It's 2-0. An Englishman and a Scotsman working together. Yeah, it's just like freaking Doctor Strange and Doctor Who working together. It's EA's worst bloody nightmare. Love shown against my former green side, Sin Etienne. But I'll tell you what, these bloody greens were absolutely hard to break down. Just like burnt toast, there was nothing I can do about it. But when they were on the receiving end, well, Peacock, he made his worth. Absolute high alert, just like a bulldog, ready for him. And all we need is just that little clothesline from hell shot from Bradshaw off the post and in just to seal a 1-0 victory. We're finally here. Harry, yes, Paris FC were our opponents. And it was a stalemate, I'll tell you that. Good defence is either way, but the Welshman broke through. Liam Shock will say, but George Bellingham with a diving header. Determination, passion, all into one goal. But an absolute dick move as Dicko over here. Oh, bloody hell, absolutely embarrassed me. And off with my strong centre backs. Well, they were just strong, not fast, as they were not able to catch up giving Paris FC the lead. But once it was half time, I let Neil Warnock do his work. The bollocks, you've got to fucking die to get three points. 
And I'll tell you what, it only bloody worked. Daniel Jepsen, oh, that was very unlucky. But a second time, he wasn't going to waste it. Absolutely perfect. He let go of the leash, let's just say. As more goals were coming in our way, more better than a Sunday roast. Well, all we need is the gravy. And I'll tell you what, Richie's goal over here. It was different gravy, I'll tell you that. With the end of the season approaching, all we've got to do is get a win and we're promoted. Simple, right? Well, we're British. We tend to go a little bit overboard. And Daniel Jebson getting a hat-trick before 20 minutes? Yeah, that really did sink the ship. As we got promoted as champions in our first season. As Team GB will be playing League A uh, next season. Top goal scorers of the season. We've got Daniel Jebson over here. 20 goals to his name. Most assists. A surprising youngster. Louise Milley overtakes the rankings with nine assists to his name wow what a season folks round of applause but that carlin can put on ice straight away because we've got a tougher season await as we go to the top tier of french don't football. get me wrong in our first season we did great we got promoted and champions into the top tier of french football but that's where the problem is as there's going to be a marginal gap between our squad and as well as that some of the best french clubs and their quality players, and especially one club in general. So how do we solve this little gap? Yep, reinforcements are here. As afterwards, some players answered the call. We've got Connor Bradley into the squad. And to be honest with you, he's probably going to be our best Northern Irish players. Not going to get no better than him. And same with our Welsh option as Brennan Johnson as joining Team GB. Following the likes of Che Adams, Joe Roden, and finally, Billy Gilmore. So I had to do a little bit of juggling just to make sure that this squad is eligible to compete in the French League. And let's see how we get on in our first season in League King Charles Stadium, we take on Mr. Hawke's former beloved side, Clermont Foot. And let's just say the new signings, they were adapting well. Just like a rich tea biscuit to a nice cup of tea. As Che Adams opens things up for us as a Scottish striker. This league, it's going to be a lot tougher. And even though I managed to get a block off right here, the rebound was nothing I could do about it. In the second half, it was Britannia all the way. As even though some chances were missed, especially Johnny Rose over here, spirits were in high. And literally, Che Adams brought the fight and showing these Frenchies no mercy. We travelled south to France for our following up game and Nice, well, they weren't playing around, especially when they hit the post over here and yet that wasn't very nice at all. Okay, it's getting a little bit late. Hey Johnson, what do you fancy? He replied, sausage and mass. Well, I haven't even got any sausage. Okay, how about this banger? Oh, bloody hell. What a banger indeed. I wish Princess Diana would have saw that. But I wish she didn't see this as my two centre backs. Let's just call them the bloody Chuckle Brothers, why not? I'm not bloody amused over here as they managed to get themselves level. Look at Billy Gilmore over here. He managed to get off a great tackle and that was the, the momentum pendulum swinging to Team GB's way. As Daniel Jibson was able to grab ourselves an equaliser. But don't worry, more was on the way for Nice. As balls were flying left, right and centre, especially from Jebson and Ben over here. And only two words could describe this kind of performance against them. Very nice. Facing off against Leon, but i got to cut this short. Four minutes on the clock. It's like a Madonna song over here. And easy like that. We were able to take the lead for him. Allban, on the other hand, well, he was becoming an absolute menace. But Peacock was telling him to shut it, you blonker. Then I got Johnson pulling my shirt again. He says, can I have some more sausage and mash? And I told him, I haven't got no sausage. Oh my God, he's producing another banger, folks. Identical to the knee score. He's only done it again. Done it again. You he's it again. dirty bastard. And into the second half, well, quick passing. Made the Leon defence. They had too many dried martinis. Shaken, not stir for more three points to our name. And what do you know? We're into the quarterfinals of the Copper National. But four minutes on the clock again. Can we get an early chance? Oh, it just hits the post. But their first chance... Well, they absolutely took it because they got a Bama who? A Bama, oh, you know, it's a Bamiang. Makes a 1-0 to Marseille. Johnson had a really good chance of his pace, but his shot got saved. But the ball was still in our court, and I was just waiting for my moment. 
I was putting pressure on him like a chav on a WKD blue. But Che Adams took the bottle, downed it, stuffed it right up the Marseille backside. Johnson being the pace demon he is, into the box, laid it across to Jebson, who delivered the final stabbing blow. Heck, call me Jack the Ripper, as we stabbed Marseille's chances and advancing us to the semi-finals. Our next home game seemed pretty easy, as Adams over the top through ball was enough for Johnson to beat the Brest goalkeeper to give us an early lead for us. Brest thought they were going to get a goal back, but the offside flag was being more like a cock blocker. As Johnson decided to return the favour to Che Adams. Absolute beautiful partnership. A better British duo than Ant and Deck. But once Brest are on side, well, they took it. Thinking they would get some comeback over it, but it was more like paper on the cracks over here. As we were just couldn't stop scoring. Jordan Adam making short work of them. And it's the biggest game of our league campaign. PSG at the King Charles Stadium. And everybody was on nerve, especially Quesweld over here. Almost giving me a heart attack, almost giving away two own goals. But once Johnson finally broke through, Dollaruma was able to save it. But we just kept on chipping against the wall. Adam crossed it into Jebson. It's only one. No, he's offside just by a kneecap, folks. This game has more drama than a soap episode, I'll tell you that. As PSG went for the tack, Creswell went for Brexit means Brexit kind of tackled. And the referee didn't like it, pointing to the spot. Mbappe, well, he absolutely slotted it in. I don't understand why you're celebrating too soon. What do you think this is? Freaking Eurovision. As Adam was on the ball, played it across to an onside Bradshaw who clotheslined the hell out of him, giving us an equaliser. As the ball was played in Jode, Jode easily beat Hernandez. Can he beat Dollaruma? He only has, folks. As the biggest win in Team GB's history as we got a huge victory over Paris Saint-Germain. That finally brings us to our semi-final game against Angers. Easy on paper, right? Well, I've got some bad news, I'll tell you that. No, it's not the gold conceded and we're out of bloody tea bags. But don't worry, I found some Yorkshire tea in the top cupboard. And afterwards, also an equaliser as well. But Angus over here are causing a bit of an underdog story. Yeah, they've only gotten back in the lead right here. I was trying to put them in their pace. And literally, speaking of pace, Johnny Rowe absolutely paced all the defenders, grabbing us an equaliser. As soon as we got a corner over here, Adam connected with the ball, off the crossbar and in, sealing Angus' fate and securing us into the finals the of the Copa Nacional. You can we're in the cup finals or what? And we've got Strandsenborg over here. As much as it's going to be a tough game, I think we could easily beat Strandsenborg. For crying out loud, we're Great Britain after all. We've got a whole bloody nation supporting us. Could we get our first gold medal of the whole entire campaign and winning the French Cup? Come on, Great Britain! Connor Bradley right here. While I'm trying to get free ball in the area into Johnson. Oh, we should have. I don't know any Strandsenborg apart oh, from Maxwell Cornet over here. Man's to win the ball. I don't know who's good to defend. Oh my goodness, that was ooh, a little bit hairy at the back. Jay Adams gets the ball, plays it across to Millie. Millie, come on, get a through ball in there. In Johnson, the Welshman seals it 1 0. Oh, 10 minutes. If they're frightened at the back, the Welshman smelt the fear and strikes when the iron is hot. It's 1-0 Team GB. We get the opening lead thanks to our star winger, Brandon Johnson. Johnson, good run right here. Come on, he's been absolutely brilliant for us. After a great recruit into it. And, oh, Jebson. Oh, could have done a lot better with the header, I'll tell you that. Damn it, we've been so good to be 2-0 up in the cup finals right here. Especially here in Paris. Oh, come on, we definitely want more gold medals to our name as Loello. A little bit scared, a little bit scared at the back, aren't they? They've already felt the wrath of us before. Pressure is building up on them. A terrible clearance, I'll tell you that. As Johnson heads it down to Che Adams. Che Adams plays it across to Daniel Jebson, who converted the chance. One awful mistake from the Strandsenborg defence, and one great opportunity for Team Great Britain to double our lead. Goal kick. For Strandsburg here, Patrick Vieira's side is not doing well, to be honest with you. Uh, come on, Becker heads it down into Lewis, uh, who's got a player on him, but still managed to get it off. Creswell plays it across into Lewis. Lewis trying to find someone right here. Oh, I see some good opportunities. 
Good some runs as well. Over the top through ball. Half volley. Jay Adams makes it 3 0. 3 0 in the first half. What a great performance from this side. Tony Martinez. 1 2 passing. Come on. Oh, I can get nothing in there. Uh, Strandsenborg got a clear chance and took it well. Good start from the second half from Patrick Vieira's men. Pulls one back. Here they go again. Trying to get a through ball in here. As their winger's going to cross it right here to absolutely no one. And we can make them pay for it. A through ball right here into Daniel Jebson right here. Plays it back to Che Adams. Che Adams returns it into Daniel Jebson. Who surely should be sealing it for Team Great Britain. The Copa Nationale. And trying to get a tackle in. Nope. Unavailed. As we can see. Plays it across. Creswell. Oh my god. Terrible pass. From Croswell, and they made me pay for it. Well, this cup final has got plenty of goals. Not good ones, but plenty of them. Corner for Strandenborg. Uh, they've got one back. They just keep creeping up, but let's just hope we can put them away. And it did not go to my favour as Perrin over here threw balls. A good chance, great chance. 4-3. Okay, a little bit nervous right here. A little bit nervous of a comeback from Patrick Vieira's men. As they play it across, 1-2. Uh, Tony Martinez. No, this is not good. Oh, God. Maxwell Cornet on the wing. No, especially in the 81st minute. Oh, Peacock grabs it. <sighs> I can breathe. I can breathe, and it feels so good. Creswell, can he get a pass right for once? Through balls at Che Adams. Che Adams plays it across. Daniel Jebson on the hat-trick. Gets the hat-trick. Seals it for Team Great Britain. We're dancing, we're celebrating as we've got another trophy to this amazing nation. Free kick right here for Strandenburg. Hoping to get themselves in it, but I think it's too little, too late. Johnson over here sees a good opportunity. Threw balls it to another Welshman. Bradshaw to deliver the final blow. Power! Oh God, that's too much power. It's off the crossbar. Oh, Jode controls it. Beautiful. Plays it across to Lewis. You know what? We're going to go for it. Oh, it's hit the crossbar and just gone out. Oh, what a dramatic end to this game. Goals galore. Chances both ways. But either way, the referee will seal it as Team Great Britain has got themselves another gold medal. This time... In the Copa Nacional. We've already won the second tier's trophy. Now the Copa Nacional will belong to TGB. This is only the beginning. As better and greater things await for Team GB. Okay, we did finish in fourth place. Which, to be honest with you, European competition. First effort in League A. Absolute brilliant. Our top goal scorer was the Scotsman, Shea Adams, with 19. And most assists goes to Lewis with 11. What can I say about the squad? Laddy did it or what? Absolutely brilliant, but I'll tell you what. I've already got two gold medals. I'm getting a little bit greedy for some more. Third team with Team GB, and the recruitment has gotten a lot better. We've got Adam Armstrong here, followed up by Luke Harris, the Welshman. We have Scotland's number one, Angus Gunn, followed up by fullback, Terea Hims, Northern Irishman. And finally, yeah, you see him. Southgate may not need you for the England squad, but Team GB needs you more than ever. It's only bloody Marcus Rashford. But you think that's the only United player we managed to snatch off? Well, you're surely mistaken. Harry Maguire! <laughs> A return season into League uh, and well, my head is huge and I got a massive chip on my shoulder. And Che Adams agreed, absolutely fighting his way through the Monaco defence, kilt around his waist and bangs it past the Monaco goalkeeper to make it 1-0. And this time, he wanted to play a little bit of assist to Daniel Jebson. Similar works, but a 2-0 lead would be fantastic. But then again, I remembered having Harry Maguire in the back line was not the best thing as that 2-0 lead absolutely evaporated before my very eyes. Even against Lens, things were not the same as Adams had no one around and went for short and went absolutely wide. Okay, how about Starboy, Marcus Rashford, went for the spectacular! Crikey. Wait, that's the freaking Australian, I can't do that. I couldn't believe Jebson done this. Fabulous footwork, but the shot 
It was literally right in front of you. I'm taking you to spec savers, whether you like it or not. If Jebson, Adams and Rashford all failed up front, how about our Welshman, Brendan Johnson? Oh no, he did not worry one bit as he finally got the goal that we rightfully deserve. But this time, Lenz were on the attack, went for the shot, Peacock did a fantastic save. But that was all for nothing from the corner as he didn't rush up to meet his man and they did manage to snatch an equaliser, Lenz. Poor result in my two opening games, and I've got the Europa League to contend with. A very tough opponent of Lazio stands in my way. And you know what? It will be either live or die to see if we can get through that. Okay, it's 1 0. Well, that was easy. That was easy. Straight off the banks of Edinburgh, Jay Adams had his shooting boats on today, folks. As not only one goal, but two goals. You cut him open, he's just bleeding out iron brew. But I began to start choking once again as a looping header beat Peacock. Too easy, I'll tell you that. But the Northern Irishman did redeem himself with some spectacular save. Managed to get our first win. And we need to start winning. Especially if you got Atalanta in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Rashford sent through Daniel Jebson. Jebson played it across to Adam. Adam into Johnson. Just like shearing a sheep, Brennan Johnson makes it 1 0 to Team GB. As the Italians were shot, was someone singing Mamma Mia? But Daniel Jebson was the one tucking it home. Smooth, like having Tom Hardy on CBBs. Back to the league, and we have PSG. Johnson was on the wing. All right, correct myself. Johnson's in the box. Johnson went for a shot and somehow it easily just crept in home as Brendan Johnson still wanted to be the star player of this squad. Rashford wanted to recreate that magnificent form, but this time it was saved. But all that work and all that lead went to absolutely nowhere. As my two centre-backs wanted to be a pair of plonkers, I'll tell you that, as Dembele gave PSG the equaliser. Well, with the league gone straight down the bloody toilet, we move on to the cup as we've gotten back to the finals against a surprising Genoa foot. Adam puts first in the lead with a spectacular low and short, but that celebration though was very questionable. Disgusting! Never have I seen such a display of blatant puffery. <laughs> so we had to man up, and how do we do that? Absolutely smashing the living daylight out of Genoa foot. The second tier side did not see a five goal thrashing from us and win us back to back Copa National for Team Great Britain. But that also brings us to our Europa League semi finals against Manchester United. And Old Trafford, well, they haven't seen a mad Scott since Alex Ferguson as Che Adams was unleashed and gave him a proper hair dry treatment they haven't seen in years. As the pass continued to haunt Manchester United, Marcus Rashford plays it across to Daniel Jebson, tucks it home nicely, and we're two goals ahead over Man United. They couldn't believe it, but just like Old Trafford, Brandon Johnson, well, he absolutely made the Man United defence fall apart. That's free for us, sending Team GB to Europa League, League It's a disappointment third place. I thought I really wanted to go for the title, but to be honest with you, we were dropping a lot of points but third place in all Champions League football for Team Great Britain I'll take it but we're moving on to something even better the Europa League finals against West Ham could Team GB get their hand on a European medal it's a big test but to be honest with you we got to the finals I'm sure we could perform here God save the King to West Ham on the ball right here, trying to build up from the back right here. David Moyes, men, they've been in a European final unlike us. Conor Gallagher did well, win the ball. Marcus Rashford on the wing, plays it across. Jebson, Jay Adams, early chance, got saved from the Georgian keeper. Oh, just like that, we strike. Just call us Grease Lightning, I'll tell you that. Rashford wins it in. Criswell, oh, another save for the keeper. West Ham on the attack right here, Williams. Naki, good work from him. Pass it across to Mohamed Kudis. The Ghanaian now into the Swiss. A whole bunch of nations right here. Through balls it. Brazilian Lucas, but good save from Ecock. 
Jeb's in on the ball, got too many players around him, but we're going to get a through ball off into Johnson. You know he can do well from range, and he did get a good effort here. But the Georgian has our number so many times. But we did well in a free a corner, sorry. Can we do it again? Header for Greswell, it's off the post this time. And Makudis plays it across. Vargas, another through ball. Rabio plays it across to Lucas. Trying to find his pass right here. Gets a through ball off. Inaki Williams, it's 1 0. So it should be, but no. Oh no. Offside flag goes up. Save Team GP by the scruff of the net. Johnson doing well. Beat off his man. Now it's into Adams. That sounded so wrong. But hopefully this will be right. Daniel Jebson onside. It's just another save from this guy. Seriously, I know he was brilliant for me. For my Tottenham rebuild. But this is another level here. Rashford whips it in. Header from Jebson. It's another save. Rebound. No, the referee says it's half time. Joe plays it across. Billy Gilmore. Gets a free ball off into Beck. Welshman, there's, there's so many West Ham players around me. They've got numbers, I'll tell you that. Jude playing not called Jode, I should say. Hey, Adams this time. Oh. It's a similar story, to be honest with you. We're getting a lot of balls pumped in that goalie. But he's got six or eight arms. Someone calling Doc up for crying loud. Joe trying to get a shot off. He's got too many players on. Oh, hello. A little bit tricky right there. Let's get some pressure on him. As he barely gets it away right here. Creswell heads it back down. Marcus Rashford through balls it. Billy Gilmore gets slight tackle. Oh, note the Scott's still on his feet. It's another through ball. The return to Rashford. It's saved yet again. Oh, for Pete's sake. Sooner or later, this keeper will be beat. Mark my words. And a shot saved again. That's it. I'm, I'm bringing the kitchen sink. Lucas Paqueta now. Come on, oh, here we go. Good work from Billy Gilmore. Trying to get a runner off right here. Trying to find the pass. Plays across to Che Adams. Che Adams. Jebsons. Season unmarked. Marcus Rashford! Oh, I'm so happy. The static, I'll tell you that. More better than someone offering you a cuppa. Marcus Rashford beats the Georgie. And now it's 1 0 Team GB in the Europa League finals. Now Rabio trying to get something off. Gets tackled, brilliant, that's a Brexit means Brexit tackle ever I've seen it in my life. Now, plays it across, into Daniel Jebson, got players, dukes him, now into Johnson, to secure it! Oh, that's very unlike him. Corner for West Ham, plays it short to Kudis, Johnson wins it, but gets tackled yet again from the Brazilian. Armour Kudis plays across, Rabio gets a shot off, it's saved from Peacock. Plays across, Rabio dribbles. Piles are bad, James Ward prowls back into them, uh, bringing everyone forward. Naki Williams back, he failed, but gets tackled. Mahama Kunis! Oh no! At the death, West Ham strikes like a hot iron to butter. We absolutely melted away, and West Ham grabbed a late equaliser. There's nothing much I can do about that. It's going straight to extra time. Too little, too late. And yet extra time will determine who will win the Europa League. Now uh, three balls are right here. Seb. Now uh, toast around. One, two, War Prowls, Bradley. Oh, gets tackled. Not what I want to see. Naki Williams! Oh my god! Oh, just like that, it could have been 2-1 West Ham. Rabio trying to get someone off. I couldn't even get a tackle in there. Now, come on. Slide tackle. There we go. Another Brexit meets Brexit tackled. And now Armstrong leads it across to the Welshman, yes! Oh, right at the death. We didn't give up that Great Britain spirit. And yet Mr. Hawke is running on the pitch and all as our star player, Brandon Johnson, has pretty much secured a European medal to Team Great Britain. Full time goes at the death. Great Britain prevailed. A whole nation is celebrating. Apart from the West Ham side, but you know what? They give it a fight, but we had more left in the tank. Great result, great reward as we come out European winners. Top goal scorers, we have Daniel Jibson with 13, followed up by Lewis over here with a most assist with 10. Now, it's not the season that I really wanted. I want a chance for the league, but heck, a European trophy and a cup, a double for Team Great Britain, heck. It can only get better, I'll tell you that. And I'm looking forward to our fourth right, season. Right, my fourth season, 
with Team Great Britain, I really got to start bringing it home. And ain't no better way than that with some English firepower as we start things off with the forgotten English striker, Tammy Abraham. And I'm not going to lie to you boys, I'm praying for a successful season and my prayers have been answered as Nick Pope joins the squad as well. And wrapping up these two blockbuster signings, we've got Harvey Elliott as well. My remaining signings, I did need to get some Northern Irish players into the squad. So we've got Daniel Bullard and finally Sean Charles. So the squad has had a little bit of a shake up. So Nick Pope is going in goal. So I need another Northern Irish player in the squad. That's where Daniel Bullard came into place. Being the new starting centre back over Creswell. Also, you're wondering, where's Lewis Miley? Well, his duties are no longer required, let's just say. No, he didn't bloody kill him. He just decided to go somewhere else. But I think Harvey Elliott is a perfect fit, especially as well Tammy Abraham coming up forward instead of Daniel Jebson. It's a sacrifice, but sacrifices have got to be needed if we're going to win medals this season. medals begin right away in the Super Copa against Monaco. The new signings were doing well, especially Elliot over here. Especially he got so close to the keeper, the shot went up in the air and Brandon Johnson headers it in. But celebration turned to anger as Monaco's first shot. Pope saves, but the offside, seriously offside, Doyle. Right, I'm serving someone a marmalite sandwich. Harvey Elliott in the team. Goals were going to happen eventually as he assisted to the Scots Che Adams to give us back in the lead. But Pope did not have a debut to remember from as yes, they did get themselves level. So I relied off the bench. Daniel Jebson out of all people was one on one with the goalkeeper. Had to score. Right, that's the second person getting a marmalite sandwich. But don't worry, folks. It was coming Team GB's way, whether you like it or not. As Adams Cross met a very unmarked Brennan Johnson to seal in an 89th minute winner and securing us a medal straight off season number four. Speaking of my other signing, Tammy Abraham here, against Nice, well, he was taking way too long to get a shot off. Seriously, what were you thinking? Did I leave the stove on? Nice cross from Johnson, met Jay Adams, and he didn't waste no time about it, giving us the lead. But their goalkeeper, on the other hand, he was denying us a second over here, making some real nice saves. But Brandon Johnson cross sees Tammy Abraham, and finally, he gets out of his shell. Arriving to Lens, and the performance just keep coming up, as Rashford produced amazing cross, but Harvey Elliott from close range hits the post. But that was a distant memory, just like Harry and Meghan. As Brendan Johnson over here, maybe I should call him Prince Johnson. Oh, he's pretty much been an absolute hero for this nation. Heck, he deserves a knighthood. As we kicked off the second half, Rashford played a lovely ball to Tammy, who crossed it in for Jay Adams to seal the win. And all I gotta say is, who's next? And that's Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. As I saw to scream Britannia at him, as Harvey Elliott able to get one past Jan Oblak. But he wasn't the first player to get past Jan Oblak, as Tammy Abraham decided to take a swing at the veteran keeper, and boy, we were pretty much send him into a retirement home. As Atletico Madrid decided to turn violent with a little nasty tackle, but that's not a tackle, this is a tackle. Jackson kind of got a little bit jealous over that, and decided to stick it one past the net. But Prince Johnson over here had something else to say as he secured the win against Atletico Madrid advancing us through to the knockout phase. Back to the league and well Tammy Abraham he had something to say literally charging at the little players. They didn't know what's going on but from the corner it was kind of their worst enemy as Tammy Abraham opens it up for us finally getting a goal to his name. But you know what? He was still going at the little defenders. Literally, they were on the phone to an exorcism as the man is possessed. Corner again, but this time Che Adams decided to snatch all the glory. Second goal for us. But not to worry, as Tammy Abraham came up with the goods. 3-0 and more wins in the league. We're looking on tension to winning the league title. 
But in the Champions League, on the other hand, we had a tough opponent in the round of 16. Yes, that is Liverpool, of course. Look at that. Tammy Abraham going for a run. No, this isn't the London Marathon. And no, he's not on any roids. But that shot, cool. He might be selected for a random drug test. That's a of that. I never knew Brandon Johnson was good at finding Wally because he easily found Tammy Abraham like that and seals a second. As Liverpool were trying to hope to get something back out of this, like a magical day at Istanbul, well, the Scotsman said, Now, nah, mate, we're not having it, laddie. What a shot. Past Allison and knocking out Liverpool in the end. So that brings us to the quarterfinals against Frankfurt, where we'd easily get a 2 1 win. And well, things were looking to be our way as Che Adams went uh, to make it 3 1, but boy, oh boy, get your seatbelts on. As Frankfurt, well, they would be more annoying than being stuck behind a cyclist. As just like that, it's all squared. But the second half, sharp words were needed and boy oh boy did they listen. As an onside English player born in Chesley. As yes, Harvey Elliott puts us back in the lead. And guess who came off the bench and helped us won? Yes, Daniel Jebson advancing us through to the semis. But the semis could wait, as we had more league action against Rend. Earlier on, Gilmore spotted Harvey Elliott, but it was just saved. Pope wanted to do a better save than that, and His Holiness did provide a good one. But from the midfield, we had an amazing interception, as Harvey Elliott found Tammy Abraham, and Tammy Abraham back of the net, folks. And we smelt blood in the water. As literally Tammy Abraham over here, well that was more easy than beans on toast. Followed up by Marcus Radford's strike to make made Ren support his day a lot worse. But don't worry, someone's day got a lot better as Tammy Abraham left with the match ball. And that brings us to our semi-final clash against Bayern Munich. And I thought Che Adams' volley could have broken the deadlock, but it was not to be. But wait a minute, is that Mo Farah? No, it's not. It's Marcus Rashford. Because look at him. He's sprinting like a madman. Close to the goalkeeper. And tucks it past him. Close can you get. Points to the face. As that shot alone was able to beat Bayern Munich. Advancing Team Great Britain to a Champions League Finals. Now, this has got to be one of the most dramatic title fights I have ever come across in my whole entire FIFA career mode days. Lee Gurn has never been more interesting than this. So let me break down the story for you. PSG and myself are fighting for the title. Okay, fair enough. But wait, there's more. Both of us have not lost a single game all season. Yes, that's right. Goes to the last game of the season. So you're thinking, okay, you just got to win in your next game and you're champions. No, 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 no. It's not that simple, because the team we've got in our last game of the season, yeah, you pretty much can guess it, it's PSG themselves. So, the task is very simple. Do not lose to PSG, and we are champions of the French League in one of the most biggest games in Ligue 1 uh, history. Only one could be champions of France, but I could hopefully be Team Great Britain. Come on, Britannia! And played at cost of Prince Johnson himself. Jay Adams doing his work. Bullies the PSG defenders. Going to get a shot off right here. Straight at Dollaruma. Come on. Oh, PSG got the ball. Renato Sanchez. Could he get my, past my two defend? Oh, my God. He's got past my two midfielders. He's, there's a gap. Oh, no. Just like Moses in the Red Sea. But Pope was like, not today. Corner for PSG. Cool. At their ground and all. All that, oh, it's easy in Pope's hands. I think the pressure's more on PSG. They need to get a win here. And it's Connor Bradley right here. No one's going to go near in the fullback. Hello, what a run right here from Connor Bradley, the Northern Irishman. Is he going to whip a good ball in? It's only tucked it home from Tammy Abraham. The run from Connor Bradley. Cool, blimey, he hasn't even broken a swear. But Tammy Abraham, calm as you like. And PSG trail for the first time. Prince Johnson. Come on, let's get a good one. Here he is. Jay Adams snuck himself on side here. Could it be two? It's a good save from Dollaruma, but the rebound there, yeah, it's questionable from Rashford. He, PSG on the ball, because I'm just afraid that one little counter attack and Mbappe to be on the end of it. 
And I won't hear the end of it. Oh, oh hello, Tammy Abraham. He's stolen the ball in face. He takes a short Dollaruma pathetic save. And just like that, the Parc de France is absolutely silent. Team GB is running away with it, folks. Ah, oh, come on. PSG uh, seem to be a little bit in control at the moment. Xavi Simmons. Lovely work. Fantastic word. What did I say? What did I say? I, I taught it up. I taught up. I said one little chance is going to be to be on the end of it. And well, well, it's now 2 1. Usman Dembele, who I've got a personal hatred for, threw balls at Mbappe. No. Sola. What a save from Nick Pope. Seriously, he reached out in the air, grabbed the ball like an eagle. But holy, I shouldn't be blasphemy right now. Blasphemy, that's the word. Ronaldo Sanchez takes a shot and it's another fantastic save from his holiness. Billy Gilmore, lovely. Come on, look at that. You can't beat the Scotsman. Harvey Elliott on the ball. Come on, season opening. Oh my God, he's taking that opening. Pass to the PSG defence. Someone call him Lino Messi. Oh my God, what a goal from Harvey Elliott. Just before the half, a little bit of Great Britain magic was needed and Harvey Elliott, cool. someone call him Houdini, what a goal. PSG getting a little bit frightening now. Oh, come on, good tackle from Harvey Elliott. Can we get someone here through balls here? It's only Tammy Abraham. Absolutely been dangerous for him, good save. I was going to say, was he on a hat trick? I can't remember on his, oh yeah, he was, he was. Sorry, oh, every touch. Every touch, Tammy Abraham steals it. Marcus Rashford, you know, go for glory, but it's straight at Dollaruma. Creswell off the bench, plays it across to Joe Roden. Through balls at Joe Bellingham. Lovely work from him. Lovely work. Plays it across, and that goal is so much more to me. Yes, we've ended PSG's undefeated streak. Yes, we've secured League uh, But the two players who did it, Jude as well as that Jebsen, they've been here since season number one, day number one. And look what they've done now. Jode Bellingham right here. Come on. Through balls it. Marcus Rashford. Tammy Abraham. Daniel Jebson gets the shot. Oh, God. It's off the crossbar, folks. BSG just can't catch a break. The pass didn't really go much. It's into Marcus Rashford. You know, it takes a touch. Cross it in. Harvey Elliott. But it's straight at Domarilla's nutsack. Here comes Mbappe again. But to be honest, 90th minute. Two minutes out on. Loses the ball. Chavi Simmons. Oh, God. It's straight at Pope's nutsack. The most unholiest of shots, but cleared the ball away. Heads it back down, but PSG, the streak is over. Their undefeated run has ended as Team Great Britain ends the season invincible, as well as that champions of the French League. Cool, League One hasn't been enter more entertained in its lifetime. But you know what, it's all down to Team Great Britain. I was determined to win trophies here in France. And you're damn right I did. Gold medals galore. The whole entire squad gets the job done here. But it could get a lot better. As the biggest of all medals is just around the corner. Champions League finals against Barcelona. Now there's a lot of pressure for Team Great Britain to achieve the unthinkable. Yes, we conquered France, but the Champions League is just around the corner. Will we succeed is the real question. And there's only one way to find that out. Gilmore right here uh, in the mid centre of midfield. Plays a ball off. Harvey Elliott gets absolutely slaughtered. Definite free kick. Gabriel the culprit. Uh, we can see Beck standing over this one. I might have to give it to Rashford since it's a right foot. You know, I can just curl it right in there. Uh, my attempts at free kick are pretty much zero in zero. But Marcus Rashford steps things up here, and oh, jeez, it's off the crossbar. And I was so shocked I didn't react well with Harvey Elliott either. Connor Bradley, lovely run, serious, such a good player. Through balls it, Brandon Johnson, Che Adams plays across Harvey Elliott. Oh, it's beautiful football for Team GB. Barcelona looking over here like, wait a minute, did we do that? Nah, mate, we just made it perfection. Joe Roden, uh, come on, he's so many Barcelona plays in that midfield. Harvey Elliott, bro, so much work done right there. Brennan Johnson plays it across. Che Adams with the strike. Oh, God. Oh, wait a minute, he's onside. Oh, De Stegen really saved him there. Bradley holds the ball off into the midfield. As you can see, he's driving straight through. 
trying to get oh, Brennan Johnson on side right here. Plays across to Elliot. Elliot back into Brennan Johnson. Johnson edge of the wing. Jay Adams couldn't really get much either. But the shot for Gilmore. What a volley! The Scotsman, not known for his goal scoring technique, absolutely pearls it. What a shot! Reminds me of Zidane in that shot, especially in the Champions League finals. A three double our lead. Torres, edge of the box right here, trying to do this fancy footwork right here. Come on. No, it plays it across. Bruno Guimaraes holds off the ball in the midfield, trying to trip my defenders. He has. Bellarana twist, turns in their first shot. Barcelona have got some hope. It's now 2 1. Connor Bradley turns back now, trying to find Brennan Johnson. Come on, mate, I expect you to be the runner of the team. And you know what? This is why I meant him to be runner. This is why he got bloody knighted. Brennan Johnson, Prince Johnson, I should say, lets a shot off right there. And Brennan Johnson, the star player in this whole entire squad. And yeah, that's the knockout blow. As Desagan holds on to the ball, he clears it right here. Second half, can we get off to another bet start? Plays across to Brennan Johnson in his dangerous position, and Desagan only managed to palm it away. Plays it across right here for Darwin Nunes right here. Jack Rock, Doherty, hide away now. Good block right there. Bellera plays it across and onside Darwin Nunes. But His Holiness did make a good save over here. I don't even know who that TikTok wannabe star is. I don't know who the hell he is. The way Darwin Nunes absolutely embarrassed him. Bellera turns it, plays it across to Bruno Guimaraes. Trying to get a tackle in, failed. Ferran Torres back to Guimaraes right here. Plays it across, Robert Lewandowski plays it again. And yeah, Darwin, Darwin Nunes, fuck off. Ball into Rashford right here. It's the heavy touch. Did get away from the Barcelona defender, so positives all around. Harvey Elliott through balls it. Tammy Abraham. Literally unleashed right here, gets the shot off, it's saved and Destegen just managed to get hold of it. Corner for Barcelona, 78th minute, could they get their comeback from this? A ball up in the air from Fatty, it's headed down and you can see Johnny Rose was managed to win it. Fresh pair of legs I always say and look at him go, great run all around from him. Come on, come on, I'm trying to focus right here. Jonathan Rowe gets a shot off, it saves, back in the feet of Jonathan Rowe. To seal it for Team GB. Absolute spectacular run. Finish, need questionable, but the rebound was straight at his feet. Full time goes, and I can't believe it, folks. Team Great Britain has won the biggest of all rewards the Champions League finals. I started this as a little project, and yet Team Great Britain have won all the medals. I can list it off for you League 2, 2. Copper Nationals, Super Copper, a French League trophy, League 1, and finally the Europa League and the Champions League. Seven medals I count. Either way, it's been a successful run and I enjoyed it ever more. Thank you as so much for joining this spectacular Team Great Britain video. I hope we do well in the Olympics, and as always, I'll see you later.